construction is complete. I know, I'm losing planets. Uh, Our void hive is under attack. Oh, damn. Intercepted me. Our construction is complete. It hurt. Let's just level all this up. Uh, by lab. Click all the buttons, please. Upgrading the entire fleet with the new thruster designs. Took back my planet. Uh, physics lab. Okay. And that actually increased my combat efficiency by 0.2. Oh, I lost my science ship. The Uthian Star Collection has been destroyed. Yeah, it's the end of days. Okay, who's typing now? Wow! Oh, we can oh. <laughs> Damn, but a trans short ship just dropped in and said hello. My microphone is too hot. Okay, why does it didn't work this good when I'm in class? Because <laughs> you were in class. No. I guess. Mm. Oh. Let me adjust the settings, maybe that'll help. Let's see. Test, test. Yep, still can hear it. I'm working on it! Oh, no. I'll just go push the talk, so I'll Yeah. Problem. Oh, now they're really chewing up. That's okay. Chewing up uh, my planets on the left. Okay. South. Really aggressive now. Yeah, I... My whole southern border collapsed. Oh no. How's your Titan doing? Well, I lost one of them. And they're bombing another one of my planets. Jack wagons. Well, I guess I'm going to go ahead and unlock cloning technology. Yeah, just keep cloning. Maybe you can clone Fuzzy before he goes to go to Pussy. Hmm. Oh my god, it's just super aggressive now. So they're just going to occupy this area so I can't fizzle out into the night. Thanks, guys. Prolong the ever deny that ever lingering death that is my civilization. You dicks. <laughs> that right. Oh, uh, the fallen empire may <laughs> actually win that fight. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna stomp them now. But I'm still occupied. <laughs> Which fight? Uh. Zarmaton Prime? Our construction is complete. If you sit, if you have any land force, if you just drop one on there, you get it back, I think. I'm not seeing any Prothorians there. Seriously, I still have that star system way the hell up here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, they don't want it, man. It's, it's dirty. No, I seriously thought it was long gone at this point. <laughs> We're not touching that. 
Yeah, this is. It's just looking really grim oh, now. Oh wow. Um. Construction vessel. Construction Super vessel. Grim. Oh. Yay. Hey. This may actually work out for me. I think I can pull something off with this. I think my planetary defenses well, are strong enough that they're... That's going to be a battle on a half. Two 80, 80k fleets about to go head to head. Whereabouts? Same same system. Ooh. Zarmaton. Yeah. Uh, well, I think the Fallen Empire isn't going to pull it off because there's a, a reinforcement well. came in. Yep. Poof. Yeah, poof. <laughs> yeah. Poof. Our construction is complete. Like that uh, empire that came and talked to us. I was like, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be all good. I'm here to help, and then it hasn't moved. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, well, my big problem is just I'm dealing with the fallen empires at the moment. Okay, this fleet will almost be back to combat positions. It's my smaller of the two fleets, though. But it's the only one with the Titan left. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, crap. Uh, I see. 81k attacking you, D-Swank. Oh, you have to all behind, no, though. Well, only if they get in range of my... Uh, Starbase. Oh, now they're hurting. Yeah. You're gonna make it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They attacked my home system. Killing them. Wow, uh, they really. Uh, no, no. The my home, my there? home system's fallen. They just sent another ninety oh, in. God. Oh. <sighs> I must have really pissed them off. Oh. Okay, mill. So if those fleets are on the move. Might be smelling the end of us, uh, civilization. They're going in two separate directions. One to the old home world, which is going to be theirs now because there's nothing there to protect it. And the other ones are heading south, which means they're heading straight from my current home world. Do uh, a, a Superman put your last child in a, in a tube with a big engine and fire um, it off into space? I'm, I'm, I'm kind of hoping, <laughs> hoping that they're going to suck one of me up and realize that I got the spirits of their dead kin and decide not to kill me. I, I, that's what I'm feeling like right now. I, I thought you, you were going to go with, like, pull a Superman, uh, pretend you're the Iron Giant, suicide into them with a giant fist. <laughs> yeah, just well, that might work, too. Yeah, well, you see, you have a couple choices, actually. Who's that? Oh, it's an abandoned. One of my abandoned stations. Oh, boy. One world left, and I'm currently blockaded. Yeah. That's uh, it's rough, man. It's rough. <laughs> you don't seem to be moving, either. You're just chilling right there. Yeah, they're like just... There, what the hell, guys? Move. 
There's that no big dialogue. One. I can't. That big one looks like a brain bug from Starship Troopers. Yeah, I like the big one. The pitless one just got the sh knocked out of him. Uh, no leader? I can't give my Ether Drake a leader. It's also not happy because it apparently is the last Let's send you over there. Oh, I still have my home planet. I still control it. Oops, somebody died. Who died? The leader died. Governor. I think I know what was what's causing my doom. Mm-hmm. Uh, reinforcement, stupid D D D on the part of the game. Yeah, they destroyed my Titan. Yeah, Titans go down surprisingly easy. Preparing my fleet, then I'm gonna go back and hit that space again. Send in my science ship and hopefully take that technology since they've basically left the area again. Yeah, they're just bombing the crap out of my planets right now. Oh god, they're they're about the Prothorians are about to come in through the back end of my space. And I've got the uh uh Hajim directorate going through my home sectors, so I'm probably not long for the world. Well, at least when one goes down, you're all about to. Yeah. Oh, damn. I figured I'd be here longer than the way it's shaken out. There's a whole bunch of, uh, I don't know what happened, but a bunch of research spots just popped up in their territory up here. Hmm. Slug area there. Dark matter deflectors, neutronium armor, and dark matter reactors. Our construction is complete. They're just chilling there. It was uh, it's just a matter of time for them to move. Yeah, why why can't I like send one of my admirals to the homeworld of one of these guys in a corvette? And then, when he comes back, put a fleet around him and tell the, both these guys to get the hell out of our galaxy. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe while he's there, he can find the first one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know what's funny about that? Uh, when uh, I can't remember his name now, the first one, what, what his name was. Lorian? Technology. Yeah. Was it? Okay. Anyway, he was like, 
you know, they they both ask him, will you go with us? They were afraid to leave. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny. I it, it it was it was strangely heartwarming. Yes. These two old ancient races, so big and vast and powerful that they could literally snuff out the whole damn galaxy, afraid to leave. The question is, what were they really afraid of? Going out there alone or leaving the galaxy? Because they would have met up with the old ones that they, you know had left before them basically like meeting old friends yep what were they afraid of were they afraid of leaving him uh the shadows probably were yeah he was the first one they all hey. kind of considered him papa yeah essentially well he uh uh i mean that's Zahadum was not the original Shadow Homeworld. It, they mm -hmm. went there because they knew that's where uh, Lorien was. And they went there because he was there. So who was older? What? The Shadows or the Vorlon? Our construction is complete. Considered them both children, so... Uh, well, I mean, compared to each other, I mean... I'd, I, I'd say that they, it's kind of like asking who's older, the uh, humans or the Nar. Which of the twins is yeah. older? The human or the Nar. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. I, well, tech... I, Even though, technically, we were among the youngest races out there. Well, uh, the only reason why the Narn were more advanced than us is that right now, they're fighting the, uh, the Centauri. Centauri, right, and stealing their tech. Like, if, if this, if Babylon 5 universe was occurring right now, that's what they'd be doing. Mm -hmm. And in a hundred right. years, we'd be out there. Oh, jeez, I'm going to get flak tech without having to freaking work for it. Who owns that? Oh. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to let y'all fight now that you're... <laughs> You've got a border. And I'll, I'll come in and hopefully clean my... Clean this up. So... Are the Petharians actual ships, organic ships, or are they actual beings with guns just strapped to their tails? Yes. I do like the the models for the swarmlings. Yeah. Some of the bigger ones are a little more frightening looking. Yeah, like I said, the the swarm queen class, uh, the queen Pertherian swarmer, looks like a freaking brain bug, man. The warrior swarmers look cool, and the warrior uh, the warrior warriors. Because there's warrior swarmers and warrior. Uh, let me ha warrior Prithorian swarmer. That's not a brood mother, I don't think. I think that's the oh, I guess those are brood mothers in the back. Okay. Swarm large class, and that's the swarm queen. Surprised we haven't gotten the event to dig into their space and go get the disabled queen. For one of our fleets. 
because usually what I like to do with that is I like to bring it back to my home system and let it sit there and not doing anything so that the queen doesn't get killed and it builds its own fleet that doesn't apply to our fleet cap. Yeah. So is there like a self-destruct? You're not gonna take us, you bastards! I wish that I, w I wish there was a big red button that you could install <laughs> install on your home world. Pull and uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> explode everything. Yeah, because it feels like they're just trying to starve us out now. Yeah, they 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 were so aggressive, and now they slowed down, and then I can't get out. I'm, I'm stuck. Well, it's it's probably programmed in such a way that. You know, it's like, hey, look, here's your breather. Build up while you can. Yeah, here's your second chance. Mm. Why does it say that I can build titans now? Maybe you research them? No, he's the, um, I think he's the leader right now. Uh, yeah. So you have access yep. to the Federation titans. Okay. Where do you build, uh, Titan assembly yard on a citadel. Cool. Okay. Is it in uh, defense or star base? Probably star base. Where? Then the buildings. Where are these guys? They yeah, might not have researched it. Go up to Pash. What? Nation of Scylla's gone. One nation's getting killed after another. Yeah, they're dropping like flies. And it looks like they're starting to move again. So I guess it's a matter of time before they move over there to me. Okay. So the, the swarm is about to come through the Poda wormhole. We're going to have all... Th I'm, uh, my empire is going to uh, be host to the Prothorians and both fallen empires pretty soon. <laughs> have fun! <laughs> it's like, really, guys? Really? Go ahead, repair. No, just sit here. I mean, you're more likely to survive if you just sit here than if you do anything else. Oh, they were waiting on a constructor to get there. So yeah, with the constructor building there now, it probably won't be long before they move in on me. Maybe. I don't know what the hell they're going to do. It's a little interesting that their particular um, buildings aren't organic looking, too. Yeah. I guess to have them around for that, maybe? Maybe it's on the schedule? Uh, this is a vanilla event, so I'd be... I'm kind of surprised, since they're already to the point where they're reworking. Um... The uh, uh, they're moving in towards my home system. <laughs> oh boy, is this the Protherians oh or the uh, the Fallen Empire? They they fallen. just built on the spot a 16k uh, station are. like it was nothing. Also, they're moving away, so they don't want me right now. They don't want me yet. Nope. I'm down to three ships. But I'm literally just starving to death now. So... I am... I'm uh, done. I am still... And this is what's terrifying. I am still... The highest ranked non... Um, fallen Empire. Mm -hmm. uh, I... This is... I, I've pretty much been wiped out. Our 
Yeah, me too. It's wow. Yeah, we, me and these fine, we're in the top <laughs> five list. Yeah, it's... <laughs> <laughs> that's not good because <laughs> my fleet power has just rebuilt it. I don't know, 25k or something. <laughs> We're, the 20k we're doomed. fleet. We're doomed. <laughs> <laughs> Prepare your Superman. Got escape pods. <laughs> I'm preparing mine. Yep. Perfect. Like a nice little laptop in. Shit. Some like sign fields. Okay. You know, at at what point do we want to want to say this game is cold? The, the, well, for me, it, for, for me, it is. Okay. My my planet's starving. I have no means of getting out of this hole. Uh, my, my I see there's a chance coming back. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we just head to one of them and maybe go back that way. Ah, uh, maybe yeah. Maybe we need to assimilate ourselves into their technology. Surrender to one of the fallen empires. <laughs> it didn't help me. No, you were the other side, and that didn't. Even, what the hell? There's no sides left. Right now, the the borders are a broken up mess, and all I see is Patharian scourge. Yeah. I, just I mean, your your borders are wide, D Swank, but I don't I don't know that how much of that's just you know usable land to build or consolidate. Oh, for mine. Yeah, yeah, not, not. I mean, Pash is probably my best system at the moment. They're moving through and taking all of my territory at the moment. Right, and this is why I was asking: oh when do we want to say it? It we've we concede. I know Fuzz. Yeah, I know where Fuzz is. And now they're purging my uh, empire, or my my members. Wait, you plural? What? You have more than one? Where are you, Centauri? Yeah, yeah. Well, the the aliens are. We we we've already had multiple B five references. I just. You just keep going with yeah. it now. <laughs> uh, I'm currently unlocking the Colossus project. I'm just going to go and devastate their home worlds. <laughs> nice. What smite. is the Colossus uh, project? It, it's a um, uh, ascension perk uh, that allows you to build basically Death Stars that are super oh. weak to like being attacked by normal ships because they have no very little defense. And they're they have, like, a big gun on it. Freaking expensive and expensive. slow. So, I there's a good chance that when he sends it in to blow up one of their planets, that they just nuke it out of the sky. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, oh you can destroy planets with it. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh. Nice. Well, yeah, I read about uh, that. That's apparently, so awesome. some of the trees on one of my planets are semi-sentient. So cool. Oh, you got the wandering forest. <laughs> yeah, I I love that one. And in about fifty-five months, I'll unlock my last ascension perk. For research. Nice. And I'll have uh, fully completed the ascension thing. Yeah, I've got three more, and then I'd be. Uh... How can you? How can you tell how many you have left? What ascensions stuff? Yeah. Well, you you see that where you select the perks, mm -hmm. you have uh, a total of eight little. Oh, you okay. Can choose. I've only got, I've only got three perks currently. Yeah, I've because I have the technology, gasp of the void, eternal vigilance, void born, mind over matter, master builders. Colossus Project, and then the final one, I'm hitting Transcendence, which will fully unlock uh, 
my entire species as telepaths, but also give me the traditions win. Yep. So there's a chance that... So basically our... our... The winning things unlocked. So you may win... So let, that 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 seems like a good point to end it, the way this is falling apart. If Daniel can pull off getting, the, <laughs> if we can keep Daniel alive until he wins through tra mm -hmm. traditions, I I'm fine with that being the victory. Uh, me too. Forty nine months. So we just have to keep Daniel alive. Which I can do absolutely well, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like thinking, what the like, hell can I do? <laughs> I I can sit here and uh, keep poking at the 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 fallen empires. Oh, I know what I can do. I'm gonna send you a supportive uh, moral email. Moral support. It's like when you open up the the email from me in a couple of minutes, it opens up like an envelope and it's like gives you like a boost of morale. Feel good. Yeah. It's a bunch of feel yeah, good feel notes. Good. Email. Yes, yes. yes. Okay. Like it's gonna say it's gonna be okay. Uh, there might be something after death. I don't know, but might be happy hour. Who knows? <laughs> might be happy hour hour after death. <laughs> there you go. All right, I, I I'm sending my fleet in to try and <laughs> rescue my home world. <laughs> Uh oh, a Do silent con con congregation. Uh -oh. We have received accounts of unusual behavior experienced by robotic units. Uh, affected robots do not appear to engage in any adverse form of communication or data transfer. They just stand there completely still. Ugh. Wait, can we get multiple in game crisis in vanilla? Maybe? I didn't think we could. Because now my robots are starting to act weird. No. <laughs> oh, that's the worst time ever. Oh, not now. Hey, D Swank. What? Now would be the time to floor it. <laughs> yeah, I, I am doing what I can right now to try and peeve people. The all the empires in this area. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Give me my, give me my station back. Uh, oh 60, Jesus! I don't think I can take that. The enemies, the hostile fleet, in Caesar. It's like one, two, three. Eight, nine fleets of each about 70,000. That's almost 700k fleet. Uh huh. <laughs> what? And I don't currently have oh any actual god. star bases. <laughs> oh my god, that's the biggest fleet nice I've ever star. seen in Stellaris. That's the biggest non-modded fleet I've ever seen in Stellaris. That is terrifying. Uh, yeah, we're still going in. Well, if I, don't st if I don't starve to death, I'm gonna see if I can actually make a decent living at this. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yeah, 35 versus my 38. We might pull this off. I made a custom uh, race. Uh, word to the wise from someone who's made that mistake until you learn the game. Don't. Yes, I also recommend taking a vanilla. Uh, the humans are pretty easier to learn in the beginning. I highly recommend that. It's so I have an idea of what I want. It's more later on. Not I'm not playing with the the race now. <laughs> Uh, I've got a few hours in the game. I'm I'm sure I know what I need. Uh, well, it my, took me a while. My empire, so. my fleet just went through. But I pulled. Yeah, yeah. And I have officially taken the proverbial cyanide cap. 
They're not taking me. We're taking ourselves. Oh, are you purposely starving yourself out now? Oh, no, we're just purging. <laughs> oh, you're purging yourself? <laughs> yep. <laughs> that's, that's the evil empire. Zath, go down to Zath. Zath, go down to no one else. <laughs> Everyone is, like, hungry because he's, the empire leader is just uh, collecting all the, the good food. <laughs> it's like, I'm not, I don't know. Well, I mean, we're not starving anymore, but, you know. Unless... Because our population is dropping. By the way, the, which... The palace. <laughs> There's two humans. Uh, I um, think they're both easy, right? Well, uh, the Commonwealth is... More military One's democratic one. Yes, yeah. militaristic. Yeah. Commonwealth is militaristic. The the United Nations is more democratic. And I would honestly, take military because I just find that fun to invade. Oh you, yeah, and honestly, I recommend a civilization that's a hive mind, so you don't have too many problems on the worlds. Honestly, with me, I almost always am militaristic in games like this. So yeah, I'm going to go for the military one. Yeah. Good choice. All right. So by one, three, twenty-five, forty-two. Roughly the uh, third month of the year twenty-five forty-two. The Zathras race will be no more. Uh, did you have to escape a uh, spaceship ready? No. Nah. Uh, we're all okay. huddling. We're all huddling in our homes and doing the deed, man. You're going all in. All right. I respect that. Hey, what choice does he have? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was in a full deficit. There was nothing. I mean, I'm not in a deficit right now. I'm actually starting to build uh, minerals back up because of the loss of, you know, bits and pieces of the world. So I, mean, I probably could come back a little bit, but the moment these guys start to move, they're just going to snuff me out anyway. So. I'm going to just try with the base details and see how that goes. Good idea. I'm going the path of the ancients, my friends. I've already got zero point energy. Now I'm studying ascension. Oh, really? Really? Y'all going to come for me now? After I made that decision, y'all going to come for me now? Really? Are they? Yeah. It looks like it. they're heading back south to Niza, Niza Throm, whatever that is. Nizza Torum from Zarmatron. There's only two directions they can go after that. Well, uh, my uh, empire has decided we're gonna. Yep. Oh yeah. Focus our last they're resources head, there. on our final. Pool will party I snuff? Will I snuff bigger. ourselves out before they get here? Everyone is invited. Will we snuff ourselves out before they get here? Oh, no, you didn't Screw make it for you, party, man. up yours, you Petharian assholes. Oh, I saw that. Oh, it's painful. Ha! Yank that wind from your asses. Okay. I guess I'm just an observer now. Yeah. I Yeah, I don't see any signs of your... Oh no, we were going. That was the last planet I had. Ah, last system too. Wow. Yeah, that was it. That's all I had. That's the reason I went ahead and started purging because I'm not giving them that win. We we just sat there, watched the uh, ships come in, gave them a great big old bird, and done. hey guys, huh? Fuzzy's race decided to die out. My robots are asking if they have a soul. <laughs> Yes, you have the soul of the fuzz race. Well. We continue Be to live. Because only a few moments after you start going, yes, yes, I did it. I killed off my race. It pops up. One of your robots was working and then decided to go over and ask the overseer, what do I have a soul? <laughs> it's like, hmm. Well, pick up your yeah, feet. Sure, Let me not? see if there's anything on the bottom of your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. 
So how close are you, Daniel? Seventeen months. Oh my god, it's painful. Yeah. Well, we could always wait the seventy-one months for the Colossus Project to finish. No. Uh, no, no, I vote no. My people say no. No, I, I think that the. I, I do not have the. Uh, the finances, finances, to be able to push back and take my territories from the two fallen empires, and. The Prothorians are leaving me alone. Which is weird. But I'm... I, I'm several decades away from keep, uh, getting to where Daniel is on the... Uh... uh the unity tree. Because I've got 140 months before my next selection, and then I've got two more after that. Yay, I'm finally rebuilding my fleet. Yeah, I still have a couple of planets left. I think I have like ten. But... <laughs> my Admiral mm? is eighty seven. <laughs> my my I have in there, I really. have six planets left. Or six systems. I have twelve star bases. Wow, six planets, that big empire. Yeah. Wow. Well, I had... I would have more. Oh. Well, that's cool. Well, the six in my home system, I think... What what tech line do you go down to get a uh, orbital uh, habit? A gun pointed at the head of the universe. Leading scientists across... So could have Ooh. at last finalized their proposals for the planet clearer class weapon that will arm our first Colossus type ships. I forgot I could drain the my sector stockpile. Um, we may select one proposal to develop alongside the final stages of the Colossus project. Okay, I, I've got 15 planets in total. Oh, well, nice done. Hell with it. We'll go with the world cracker. Yeah, do it. So you, 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 have you gotten your final ascension part? Uh, nine months. Nine months, okay. And we're colonizing our so next starbase. Nice I'm gonna cut it close as soon as the interstellar kill is done bombarding that planet you have. And I'm Maybe move. Ah, I guess they have to like move around. Yeah. Reinforcing the fleet with all nice brand new ships. You have one ascension perk. What do you want? Hmm. You know what? To heck with it. I'll ascend. Most overnight, everyone unlocked their full psionic capabilities. We no longer communicate via mouth. Okay. Awaken 
So, Fisonic Sci ability? Psionic abilities. Technically, that wasn't a victory, because... But, I mean, I think that, that the fact that Daniel did that is good enough, because I'm not going to be able to survive. This is going to be me just clicking buttons, throwing suicide waves in, and I don't think I'm going to make any headway. Yeah, me too. I have, There's no way I can push it back right now. No chance. Uh, right now? But do you think you have a way in the future? No. No? Uh, mm. I started the pool party. All, uh, all my people are there. And uh, yeah, it's just an open bar. Just one last party. Okay. Uh, Fuzz, is there any way for you to... <laughs> I don't know. Why don't you uh, check the chat and tell me? <laughs> Yeah, that would be that would be very impressive. Like, wow. Well, I mean, you know, I mean, cool. a, a, <laughs> apparently one of my species survived and entered one of his robots. So, slowly, quietly, we're gonna come back and take his uh, empire, and uh, you know, just infect all machinery and just take over as one giant AI. There you go. There you go. There's still a chance. You know, he's gonna play as a. Uh, uh, like a determined exterminator hive mind uh, AI next time, and that's going to be his story, is that after the Prothorian <laughs> Scourge wiped out all life on the gal in the galaxy, one robot survived and rebuilt itself. <laughs> hey man, stories are built in these kind of games. Yes. Okay, so... In essence, the oh wait, I have the floating, I have the floating planet. It, I I have survived. It's off outside the galaxy. Uh, you're lucky, man. <laughs> but anyway, um, I guess are we calling it? Yeah, I think so. Okay, throwing in the towel. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that. I, again, I do not have, well, my mineral income just went nothing. I hardly have the fleet to do anything to try and fight back um, against any of these guys. Uh, because one of their fleets comes in and just wrecks everything I have. Um, Crunch is in a similar position. And it's basically... Uh, a defensive stalemate. Uh, the uh, these guys aren't doing anything. Uh, whatever this group is, uh, the Sentinels. They sent out one fleet and got their ass handed to them. <laughs> yep. Um, they're they're bombing my planet, so I don't have a way of recovering my uh, resource gain at the moment. So there's nothing really I can do. With. This is going to be a slow burning death for uh, the Gox Hive. Uh, Daniel, you pretty much don't exist anymore. Actually, I'm making a very quick comeback now that I've built two of those deep space stations. <laughs> You're making a comeback. Oh, up here. I guess. I have no idea yeah, where he is yeah. and how he's claiming he's got a comeback coming. Because he's got Finhavis and Zibori there. And then pretty much everything has been overwhelmed. As far as I can tell. Except for Empha Amphadir. Is that even his? Yeah. That's almost overwhelmed. And On that note, that everybody's my, burning. My homeworld's dead. <laughs> yeah, they, they've they've kicked me off my homeworld. Um, so yeah. Sound like you guys are having a rough time. 
Oh, uh, that was really rough. Yeah. Oh With God. the loss of my home world, my economy just went <laughs> and is non-existent. <laughs> uh, so yeah. pulling the plug. Yeah. Anyway, um, hope you all have enjoyed this, and we'll see you next time where we may be doing something with mods uh, yes maybe doing a Star Trek mod playthrough because that one's a simple mod to use it's a one one mod mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we just get... have to enable that one mod for it to work so um, yeah Trek. hope you've enjoyed it and we'll see you next time so until then, burn. Burn. Zap it as burn. <laughs>